And, and with one of the things uh, you mentioned, like sometimes people submit for listings and, you know, it doesn't quite match, you know, maybe the, the, the birthday example that you said, if, you know, somebody says birthday in the third verse and somebody's looking for a birthday song, it seems like that can be hard for uh, songwriters to realize at first, like how close they are to a description. Do, does that seem to be something that like with, with the more experience in just writing and writing to a certain style that that writers start to understand the genre and like the topics that they're actually talking about and and it's just different from people who are just starting out do you find that yeah uh, unquestionably that it's uh, part science part art form um, and a lot of experience will make you better at it uh, enough rejection and i know this sounds corny to say it but i believe it's absolutely true uh, if you have every rejection is an opportunity to get better and move forward. So if most of your rejections are because you haven't matched what the listing asked for, pretty soon you're going to start going, okay, maybe I should take this and like bullet point the major things and see if I can hit most of them, not just one little fraction of them. Right. So absolutely. Uh, you know, these are all things that people are of the mistaken belief if i just make great music somebody out there is going to love it by e extension they're going to love me and it's going to make me mm. feel really good about what i've created and i understand that i really do i know that that's part of the musician slash artist soul we all want to be loved for something especially stuff that we create that's an extension of us however you can do it with a little more forethought and purpose and still feel the love and that's exactly what I believe you're talking about, which is paying attention to what the, the opportunity asks for and trying to deliver that. And the more, the more you endeavor to do that, the better you will become at doing it, the more success you will encounter. And when you have success, that will lift you up and make you feel good about charging forward, which ultimately results in more success. So it's a, um, it's, it feeds on itself and becomes endemic to your success. You know, it, it yeah, fail yeah. to you don't. <laughs> I think probably part of the problem is you always hear about those, you know, overnight success stories. And that's what people love to talk about. It's like, you know, somebody saw a video on YouTube and then that person exploded. And so the idea of, oh, I just have to get my stuff out there as like the way, which really is very vague and, and doesn't have any kind of strategy behind it. Not that you shouldn't be getting your stuff out there, but if you're thinking of that as a way, like a specific thing to kind of catapult you, there's no real yeah. strategy there. But w what we're talking about is, is something that you can actually do. That's something more, you know, kind of tangible, I guess, um, that you can sink your teeth into and, and, and start to... Um, you know, create a path and actually have a, a, a way to go with this stuff. So I think it's, it's um, you know, it, it'll make you think about it differently. You can actually start to structure how you're doing things, how you're writing your songs and, and get in a different way, being specific. I think that's repulsive to a lot of creative types. You know, it's like, yeah. I have to have a strategy. I have to think like a business person. <laughs> well, yeah, you know what? You do, and and frankly, once you learn to use that approach that you've just described effectively and you have success, you'll feel really good about making the decision to do that. Well, it's funny, too, because the same thing uh, goes with, with just writing in general. You know, uh, people tend to think, uh, oh, I should just write, like, whatever comes from the heart. You know, they may not think, be thinking about structure or, like, how their lyrics are fitting in and that kind of stuff, but it's the same kind of thing. It's... If you're not taking that initial uh, inspiration and editing it well, it's, I mean, you could do whatever you want. It's art, but, you know, how it gets used is, you know, you may not have as many opportunities. So um, being structured about even the writing process matters, you know. You're my favorite kind of taxi member because you <laughs> get it. You, and, you know, look, if, if you and I invited 10 of our friends each to join us tonight at a movie theater, if we could actually go to one with <laughs> COVID-19 out there meeting us at the door. But, it, you know, if we invited a bunch of friends to go to a movie theater and the movie didn't, the story in the movie didn't have a, a beginning, a middle, and an end. If, if the story didn't have a structure, every one of us in the room would feel lost because it would just meander. It's like, 
it's got to start here, develop more, then have kind of a jaw dropping, oh, moment to, you know, like recapture and invigorate our interest. And then more story, more story, and then a crescendo ending. It's, it's a tried and true structure that works in songs, it works in movies, it works in books. We like things that move forward with purpose versus meandering off into a drain pipe somewhere, the abyss. <laughs> Your viewers can find out more at taxi.com, T A X I.com. Um, honestly, uh, would I love to capture somebody's email address? Yes. But you know what? Uh, they, by giving us their email address, which can be done with a red button on the, the home page, they can start getting emails every day to see all the opportunities that our, our, our paying customers are getting. And they can determine, are there enough requests for music that I either have or can do that I should think about joining Taxi? Okay, so hopefully that information helps you out. If you're looking for a lot more ways to improve your songwriting, I've got a couple of cheat sheets for you that you can download by tapping on the screen here. And if you have not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel to stay updated on our latest songwriting videos, you can tap our logo on the screen for that. And we'll also have links for that stuff below this video. So thank you for checking this out, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. I'm just sitting here alone.